morning guys it's Tuesday and it's what time is it 8 15 a.m. and Bonnie's just getting, gone down for her morning um, nap which was a bit difficult because she likes to be held in the morning during the daytime to fall asleep because she's in the pram so the first attempt to put her down didn't go well but the second attempt did so that's good so I'm just gonna get myself ready my sister's coming around today um, to see me and hang out with Bonnie and I'm just going to stay at home and I'm going to make pumpkin soup for lunch and film some um, footage for a haul that I'm doing and that's it really but we'll hang out with Bonnie and see what happens just getting Bonnie's outfit ready for when she wakes up I'm going to change her and feed her and um, get her dressed this is a little um, dress from Kmart and it's quite thick it's like a little kind of jumper it's got a pussycat on it with a pair of black harem pants only acceptable on babies if you ask me little shirt from mother care with a london scene on it underneath Primark socks and a cotton on dribble bib so she should be good to go after that <laughs> Yeah. Also, the best thing about this is seeing little legs. Bonnie loves this sensory playbook. And it's also uh, developmental images, so it's black and white. So when she was smaller, she couldn't see properly. And the images um, stood out to her the most, these kind of images. But it's also painful, so when she grabs it, it makes noises. So it keeps her interested for ages usually ends up going in her mouth <laughs> but she likes it you just give it to her and she keeps her occupied for a while It's half three now and my sister has been and gone and I made that pumpkin soup and we had for lunch, it was quite nice. And we went for a walk to this cafe down the road, which is a bit further than the main street, um, and it's closed, it's all gone. So we walked all that way and back in the heat, well not the heat, but the sun, for no reason, which was a bit disappointing. But we're home now and Bonnie has had a nap and she's happily playing on the mat next to me. And that's it. So I'm going to end today's vlog and see you tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, it's Wednesday morning and it's about 7.30am. Bonnie's just gone down for a nap. She just suddenly fell asleep, which was nice. And I'm going to stay at home all day because the oven cleaner's coming because it's in a mess. It was a bit dirty when we moved in. 
and then oh, yeah, we <clears throat> through winter cooked a lot of cheese and that's melted onto the bottom so he's coming around to do a good job of it because um, I just don't have the time unfortunately and other than that I've just got to sort out some clothes that more clothes that are in storage into the other boxes and because a lot of it's going to start to fit her again so I'm going to put those into the wash, the ones that will fit her now, and the others into the boxes of the different sizes. And after that, Bonnie and I are just going to hang at home and see what happens. So all of this is sorted out to wash because it's all going to fit her within the next month. She's kind of tracking um, the size up with length, even though it might be a little bit baggy around the mid waist. Lengthwise, she fits into six months almost. So all of this has got to be washed and hung up in the wardrobe, ready to use. And some cozies too because it's getting hotter and hopefully we're going to get her in the water soon. Amazing stuff, can't wait to get this on her. life of luxury on your little blanket. Now you're awake. Look at that. She's annoyed because Bonnie happened. I don't know if you can see Bonnie's red cheeks but I think she's teething early. She's had those red cheeks for a couple of months and also dribbles a lot and um, chews on her hand and stuff like that. So hopefully she doesn't start getting any pain soon. Or if she does get pain, it's quick. We've got all the stuff she needs. Look at that face. We've got all the stuff she needs um, when, it, when it starts. So hopefully it's not too bad for her. Morning, it's Thursday and I'm all dressed and ready to go out. I've got to go to a neighbouring town and pick up a seat for Bonnie and then I'm getting a fringe trim as well. So we'll see how it goes because it's raining on and off today so should be fun with a pram. Today I'm wearing my green jacket again, standard favourite, black sheer top and black jeans. I'm going to wear my black studded boots. Not obviously again, not my slippers. Crikey, they need a wash. I've picked up the seat and I've just managed to stuff it under the pram, but I think it might fall out at any time. Let's see how it goes. Going down. 
I'm just getting the train home now from Newtown. Got the seat, got my fringe trimmed, and rolled up through dog food. And this little lady is getting fidgety on the train. And now we're going home. into the shops to get something for dinner. They've changed all the aisles. It's really narrow in here. It's odd. But it looks pretty. I'm just going to grab some now. Don't have my usual sade sauce. I'm going to get this one instead. No, I'm going to get this one instead. also some of this to have a cup of tea. I'll show you what I got from the supermarket. Um, it's not very exciting but I'll show you anyway. I've got two packets of the Carmen seeded crackers. I like these in my little snack box because they're just made from seeds, they're gluten free um, and they're low carb so if you're kind of like watching the weight personally I like to eat these. Some carob mint chocolate which is no added sugar. Um, if it's carob, but it hasn't got that kind of bitter taste. It's really, really nice. And if you like mint chocolate, but you want to eat carob, this is the one to get. And some patox, cashew and coconut simmer sauce. Usually I get the Thai satay sauce, but um, they only kind of had this stuff. I'm going to put that with some broccoli and tofu and have that for dinner. Look at Mabel living her best life. This is the chair I picked up from Newtown. It's called Induity, but it's basically poor man's version of the Bumbo. So you strap the baby in there and keep it on the floor, or you can strap it to a chair. And this goes, and this goes in here. And it basically is a little high chair with a table, but it sits on the floor or on a chair and you strap it to a chair with this. I'm going to see if Bonnie enjoys it. Doesn't seem too bad. The only problem is, once she's in, oh here we go, the little strap thing is, here we go, there's not a lot of room, but I know this foam bit comes out, and um, when their legs get bigger, hey you're smiling, you're enjoying that. Strap her in. It's going to be awesome when it we come to feeding her solids. There you go. Oh, Mr. Clowny. She seems alright. She's sitting up really well. Are you having fun? It's not too scary, is it? I know this retails for $59.95 at Target, but I got it for $25 on Facebook Marketplace which is why I had to go a million miles to grab it. Um, it's in perfect condition though, so thanks Ash. Pretty cool. 25 bucks, not too bad. Bonnie's asleep, so it's time to hit the Cave of Doom. Cute Cave of Doom though. So this side is all Bonnie's uh, dresses and little outfits that fit. There's a couple that don't, so I need to take them out. They're too big. And spare coat hangers my slippers, toys, books, bits and pieces, bits and pieces, blankets and wraps, and my handbags and camera bag and stuff. And up there is some storage space, which I need to sort out as well. So stick around and watch me tidy. <laughs>
pulled out all the stuff in Bonnie's wardrobe that's not going to fit yet and I'm going to put it away until it does. I just had some random things in there because I kind of brought home and then hung up straight away so they don't crease or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to put them away. That one is going to fit soon, I reckon. Some knits that don't fit. Oops. Little dresses. That used to be on a doll that I had as a kid. That one I'm not sure if I'm going to keep or sell. I'm not sure if it's going to suit her. But yeah, some gorgeous stuff. Um, a lot of my vintage doesn't fit her yet, but it should do in the next six months. Is awesome. Oh, sorry, Mabel. Okay, it might look like it's pretty much the same as it was, but I've cleared out any stuff that I don't need. I've got a spare shelf, and all the toys are together. The books are down the bottom, and I've taken out stuff that isn't going to fit. And my next thing to do is actually take out the winter stuff, but I'm going to wait for a couple of more weeks yet. But yeah, all done. Hi everyone, it's Friday afternoon. I haven't vlogged today because I've been out and about and it wasn't really the kind of place where I could uh, pick up a camera and film. But I'd just like to say thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, thank you and congratulations. Uh, maybe leave a comment saying I made it this far down below so I know that someone's kind of getting to the end of these. Um, and hopefully I'll better do this um, more often in the future and thank you for watching and supporting my channel. I'd love it for you to stick around. Um, you can find me on Instagram, yet again, I'm going to tell you that. My name is Danielle Salbury, I'll put it up here. And thank you for watching, see you next time, bye!